I use an example, if I may, uh, of a piano. Would anyone buy a piano with all white keys? I've heard people give concerts and they use all black and white keys. I, on one occasion, asked a dear friend who is a marvelous, excellent pianist to simply play the white keys. I'm not being prejudiced, but just play the white keys. And as extraordinary as he was, he raised his hands and he could not even touch the keyboard. It's that the piano, the white keys uh, have certain quality, which is very important, and yet can be very plain. And yet the black keys add those sharps and flats. And they provide the orientation where a person can find which note he or she wants to play. The same is true of the peoples. They have capacities in their experience backgrounds uh, drawn from where they originated, and they have certain capacities, just like an orchestra. Uh, an orchestra has to have so many different kinds of instruments. It was not thought of in the beginning, like horns grew from uh, just playing elk horn. Uh, reeds came from uh, uh, growth in, in uh, water, uh, land water. Mm -hmm. uh, drums from tight skins, the strings from animal uh, innards. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet, uh, as people begin to become proficient in those, then music styles develop. But then an orchestra playing uh, uh, a piece needs all of those instruments. And there's certain things that the trumpets can do that the drums can't do, and vice versa. You think of all the instruments. So I think of the, the peoples having different capacities, but they're all equally important. And if we're going to fulfill our moral destiny, which we definitely have as a nation and as a world community, then we must recognize that all the peoples have a part to play and it must be cultivated and it must be allowed. And when it is done, we will hear beauty that we can't even hear from one single, from, from a single unit.